Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we are going to discuss how to solve the development of a lateral surface problems using Solid Edge V18 software. Let me go to the question. The question is given like this. Draw the development of a lateral surface of a funnel consisting of a cylinder and a frustum of a cone. The diameter of the cylinder is 20 mm and top face diameter of the funnel is 80 mm. The height of frustum and cylinder are equal to 60 mm and 40 mm respectively. First, we need to construct the as orthographic view of this uh, funnel combination and then we will go into do the development of that. So, the funnel consisting of cylindrical part as well as first of a cone. First, we will construct the cylindrical part. The cylindrical part, the diameter they give on 20 and height of the cylinder is 40. So, we need to construct that. So, we can use the rectangle option and here width we can give uh, 20 diameter and then height they give on 40 angle 0. So we will get the the bottom part of the this one uh, funnel and then we need to construct the the top the frustum. So for that uh, we can uh, the data they given is height of the funnel uh, is 60 uh, from the this frustum and the funnel diameter they give on 80 mm. So first we will give the height 80 from the midpoint axis. So height of the, the frustum 60 and then they give on diameter. So the diameter from the midpoint it will be 40 either side. So we can give it and this side also we can give 40. And then if you join to the cylinder from the ends, so this is uh, become funnel. You can show this uh, dimensions. The height is uh, 60 and this size height is 40. This diameter is uh, 20 and uh, this one is total 80. By using this, we need to do the development. To do the development, uh, we need the total, this is the lateral uh, side, this length of uh, the funnel we need to get. So to get that, we can use the option extend to next. So you can just extend the line, these two, the, where it will intersect. So that will be that we will get the total length of this one. You can trim this one. Uh, we can split this because we need this length while cutting the this uh, portion. We need to split the line at this point. So that we can get the uh, the individual length of these sides, and then you can measure the total uh, length of this line. So this uh, total side length is eighty nine point four four, and the small segments uh, these two will be twenty two point three six and sixty seven point zero eight. Okay, now we will go to the development, and in the development uh, develop, while doing the development, uh, the, we, while doing the cylinder. So the total length when we uh, unfold the cylinder it will it will look like a rectangle so the total height of the rectangle we can get 40 but what is the total length to get the total length of that rectangle the width will be can be, can be calculated by using a formula periphery formula that circumference uh, length 2 pi r so 2 into 3.14 and the uh, diameter is 20 so the radius will be 10 so the total length is 62.8 so once we got this data, we can construct the development of the bottom cylinder. So we can go to the rectangle option. The width we need to enter this one, 62.8. Then enter height is uh, 40, they give one. So like this, this is the development of this bottom cylindrical part. And now to develop the upper portion of this one, so we need to find the angle because this is the conical, surf, uh, conical shape. So we need to get the angle. The angle can be calculated by using the formula theta equal to r by r into 360. The small r is the radius of the, the cone and the capital R is the side the length. Uh, we found that 89.44 and uh, this one radius is 40. Then into multiply with the 360, we will get the angle 161 degree. So we need to construct the uh, lines with the total length 89.44 two lines and between those two lines the angle will be given as 161 so go to line 
the one line you can draw it here the length of the line will be the side length 89.44 you can construct the line and one more line you can uh, take it that length will be 89.44 and you can fix that length by using smart dimension and now by using angle between we need to select these two lines and the angle we need to give 161 okay total line if we take on the angle we calculated here we need to enter that and then go to arc by center point take the point as arc center and draw the arc and uh, here it is colliding we can uh, move this part okay and now so this is the complete uh, development of the cone but we need to do the fresh term to get the fresh term we have a length 22.36 so go to the center so enter the value 22.36 as a radius and click on the line and draw the arc inside so radius 22.36 we need to draw the arc so after that so we can uh, the only this portion should be visible line so you can split this line into your two parts and then you can make these two line as a normal line okay now the complete uh, development of the cone we added one part is the cylindrical part bottom and the top one, the freshener of a cone is uh, completed.